Now we're going beyond the headlines. After a disturbing new report involving school children, earlier this month, we told you the number of homeless students here in Oregon has increased by a whopping 9%. And we found out the Reynolds School District actually has the highest percentage of homeless students in the metro area. Our Amy Frazier went to the district today to find out, Amy, what's being done to help? Well, obviously, homelessness can be a huge barrier to education. Today, though, I went to a special spot inside Reynolds Middle School set up to help. We have sausages, um, fresh meat, we have clothing for adults and school aged children. I met with Molly Fry, who's the homeless liaison for the Reynolds School District. It's something that we see day in and day out with our students who come to school um, not knowing where they might be sleeping that that night. She works at the resource room inside Reynolds Middle School with a food pantry, clothing closet, and in-house social service agencies to assist homeless students and their families. Just last week found out that a family has been staying in their car in the Walmart parking lot. According to the Oregon Department of Education, more than 20,500 Oregon students were homeless last year. In the Reynolds School District, it was about 11.5 percent of students. We see more uh, people that have to live for a period of time in their cars. I wanted to know how the district is responding. I found out Reynolds has received a grant to hire a half-time teacher to seek out and assist homeless youth. In terms of getting them hooked up with school, enrolled, and also uh, keeping them on track academically. The community can also help make a difference. If the community can provide even some basic things like extra shoes, um, clothing. We were always open to those kinds of donations. Education leaders say keeping kids in school is key to breaking the cycle of poverty. What's the answer? Oh gosh, more money. More money for affordable housing would be really, really helpful um, so that it, families can stabilize and kids can continue to get their education um, so that the future is brighter for them. And the resource room here is accepting donations. In fact, I'm told they could really use some tennis shoes for both kids and teenagers. If you'd like to help out, we've put some more information for you tonight at coin.com. Reporting live in Fairview, Amy Frazier, Coin 6 News. Keeping kids in school is key. Thank you, Amy, for that.